Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the Kazdal 545 here in Modern Warfare 2 Season 5. Now, I have an updated build. It shreds, and you're going to see in today's gameplay, I'm going to show you why this weapon is better than the 762. So, if you guys are new, enjoy today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on, and let's get into it. Now, getting into my build, guys, for the first attachment, we are going to the muzzle, and we're going to be adding on the FJX Full Chrome Pro. Now, this is an attachment I've seen pros use in the earlier stage of Modern Warfare 2 in the competitive scene. I threw this attachment on, and it made this weapon and not have any recoil this weapon is really nice very smooth and you're going to see that in today's gameplay vertical and horizontal recoil control there is no more of that you're going to have full control of the build so make sure to go ahead and add this on for your first attachment here now going over to the under barrel we're going over here until we get to the bruin warrior grip now this attachment is going to help with hip fire accuracy hip recoil control aim walking steadiness and recoil steadiness now the main concern i'm thinking about this attachment here is the hip fire accuracy and hip recoil control maybe we can't aim down side so we're going to have better hip recoil control and accuracy. And then we have recoil steadiness. So it makes this weapon so much easier to control. Way more accurate at those longer ranges. So make sure to have this on for your next attachment. Now, since this weapon does have a pretty fast fire rate, we are going to the magazine, and we're going to be adding on the 45-round mag. Just for a larger magazine size, it's going to give us 15 extra bullets. We get like about two or three more kills out of each magazine, so it will help a lot just preventing us reloading every time we get a kill. So we're going to be adding this on for our third attachment here. Now, for these next two attachments, we need to make this build more aggressive, have that running gun type of play style. So we are going to the rear grip, and we're going to be adding on the true tack grip. It's going to increase that handling. We're getting a faster aim down side speed sprint the fire speed and everything so we're just being more aggressive having that run and gun type of play style so make sure to have this on and then for our final attachment we are going to the stock and we're gonna be adding on the rama for that aim walking speed and sprint speed so we're running faster around the map we're getting into more engagements getting more kills but also we have a better mobility while aimed down sight so if it's strafing or just in general moving really quick now the tunes i recommend for this build guys we're gonna start with the warrior grip now i have my aim down sight speed at 0.21 that's the only thing that we're gonna be changing here we don't need hip recoil control we don't need walking speed and the only thing i feel like is necessary here is they aim down sight speed with it being an assault rifle we need to work on that handling help us be more aggressive and you're going to see in today's gameplay on how fast the aim down sight speed is so it will help out a lot here now for the muzzle, we are going to put our gun kick control at point 25 here and our recoil civilization at point 41. Two tick on that recoil control. The weapon doesn't have a crazy fire rate, so the weapon won't kick up as much anyways, but will make the weapon a lot more smoother, more accurate, easier control, which is always good. And especially if you have trouble, you know, hitting your shots and everything, it's not a bad thing, so it will help it a lot. You should be a lot more accurate, so let me know in the comment section if it does help you. Now, going over to the Rama stock, I do have my aim walkie speed at 1.55 and my aim down sight speed at 2.32. We're aiming down sights a little bit faster. We're moving faster while aimed down sight, so strafing and that mobility. And here for my final attachment for the rear grip, we are going to put our sprint to fire speed at 0.13 and our aim down sight speed at 0.42. Just increasing that handling a little bit more, having that aggressive play style. 100%, I do think the Kazdal 545 is easily a top 5 assault rifle here in Modern Warfare 2. Is it better than the TAC 56? No. Is it better? Better than the m4 no but other assault rifles it's going to give it some competition especially the 762 which i will prove in today's gameplay it is better you could be more aggressive and although the 762 has more damage i just feel like you could do more with the 545 with this class up you will unlock its full potential you have to try the build so let me know in the comment section do you like the class up what was your highest kill game and if you want to know the rest of my build here i am running the new pistol if you want to know the build here's my class up for it and we also have the stun grenade the Simtex, my perk package is Scavenger, Double Time, Fast Hands, and Bird's Eye. This is my nuke package here, and then we do have the field upgrade as Dead Silence, so we're more quiet. But like I said, this build is really nice. So again, if you are new, enjoy today's video. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that bell. You don't want to miss any more videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy. There we go. Double kill. I mean... I mean, I might be the only one to say this. There might be others, but honestly, like, I'm going to say this. I think the 545 is better, way, way better than the 762. I mean, and the good thing, the good thing about, you know, having the 545 and the 762, regardless of which one you use, you're going to have that AK-47 feel to it. But just one has a little bit more handling, and as you guys see, we're kind of like looking like we have Heelys on right now, but... And I feel like the seven, like the 7.62 is like more powerful, but I, I, I mean, 
I rather I would rather have a weapon better with mobility and handling than more power and be slower. That's just me, because I feel like I can make way more different plays if I had more mobility, you know? Like jumping and sliding and snapping on different targets. And we really... What I, what I should probably do is I should probably just jump through over here. We're going to flip the spawns. They're going to spawn in the back or they're going to be spawning on a white truck. Alright, now we... I should force spawn them over there. I'm not... I might be wrong, but we'll double check. I think we did. I think we did a good job of it. Yeah, okay, now our teammates are spawning on this side. But then again, here in 30 seconds, I got to flip spawns back over again. So whatever I do is I'm going to have to keep flipping spawns if I want to get a gameplay here. And we have the Akimbo 9mm Damon Pistols. These things are, I mean, these things are a beauty. There we are. I mean, if why are we camping, buddy? All right. Well, if I can get, it, I have the advance. So what I think I'm gonna do here is we're gonna pop this, and we're gonna try to go for like uh, a pretty quick nuke here because we're, we're gonna need one. That's a kill. Watch, boom. Give me my gun. All right, hold on. They don't know the jump spots like me. That did not just happen. Well, that's good. We're not going to be able to... Well, I mean, I could probably push in there by myself, but... I wanted to get the nuke there. I can't believe I got killed by a pickaxe. A pickaxe, really? Oh my god. Help me, help me. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out. This thing has a fire rate on it. Oh my god. It's alright. I got another advanced UAV. I have another sentry gun to put here. And we have another VTOL. Just like we never had one before. I don't, I just don't, I want them to play objective. Like, we're, we have a... They have a good lead on us right now, actually, so. There we go. This guy's above me. Easy. They're going to be spawning on P2. And if I would have died, I would have been squaring up with them. This weapon doesn't move. We're going to throw that over. That's a kill. No, nah, I'm kidding. It's not a kill. All right, well, this is actually perfect. I mean, this is perfect. I'm taking people off head glitches. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Easy. Easy. I think there's a guy behind me trying to shoot me with a sniper. I might be bugging. I don't know. Okay, well, I... I am bugging. There we go. Oh, there it is. There's the MGB. I love this weapon, man. There we go. I hope they don't spawn behind me. I would like to kind of go on a nice little streak here. Since we do uh, have to catch up, we have to play catch up here. So, there we go. Alright, we're level 10, 20 as well. I do want to hurry up and get to max level this season. Because I just sometimes I just don't want to have to play the game. I know I'm I'm no really in no rush to I'm not in really a rush to get to max level, but you never know if, like, if there's gonna be any rewards that happen going into the next call of duty. You just never know. You really just you never know when there's gonna be rewards because they make rewards. Oh, if you get a hundred kills with this weapon. You can get a lucky charm or something like that. I don't know. They're, they're, always, they're always doing something. So I try to like try to get all the camos. Because now I know that they're going to transfer into Modern Warfare 3. Um, what else? Um, calling cards. So if there's any secret calling cards. Secret camos. I can get them. And not have to worry. Like okay I just wasted time going for them. 
Alright, well, we kind of chilling. We're about to be on a 100 kill game right now. Well, we're chilling right now. Alright, VTOL is going up. I'm gonna chuck that down. There's someone underneath me. Teammate, you better not get me killed, buddy. It's my VTOL that does it. Never mind. I swear my VTOL has killed me probably eight times today already. That, uh, we got him weak. That's a double kill. That's a triple kill. That's a quad. That's a five. That's a seven. Oh my lord. You're gonna peek. I knew it. You know, sentry gun. Never mind. I am the human sentry gun right now. 101 kills. There it is. And we're nowhere close to being done with the game. So this is actually going to be... This is going to be a nice game here. I'm not going to... I'm not going to take him off the hill. There's no point of doing that. We're going to just try getting another nuke now. It would be nice to get like a quad nuke or something like that. But... I don't think that's going to happen. You know, I've played rank so much on this map. I know the spawned, but also I should know where people hide at. There he is. I, I swear he would have turned on me and hit me with a sniper or a pickaxe or something. I would have squared up with him. Alright, that's a relentless. We'll take that one. There we go. Alright, that guy's AFK. I'm not really okay. Now, watch spawn trap. Okay, well, they're not moving. Are they broken? I mean, we're, we're mowing them down here. We're on a... No, okay, I got the jug. Thank the Lord. Oh, man. I didn't think I was going to... Okay, that's a double nuke already. And, again, we are still nowhere close to being done with this game, so... I'm going to try my best for a triple now. Maybe. And that guy really stole my kill. How dare he? There he is. I mean, I'm sure we can't win off this hill, but... I think they should make it. I don't know if this sounds weird. To make the game more difficult in hardpoint, wonder, wonder what would happen if they made the uh, hill time only like 30 seconds. I don't know. Like, take 30 seconds off the hill time. I mean, I feel like, I feel like that'd make the game even more chaotic. You know? We got a sentry gun. There's no way in the world I'm gonna be able to. I mean, there's just no way in the world I'm going to be able to get a gameplay. Well, I got the gameplay. I'm not going to be able to get another nuke. Yeah, there's no way in the world. Hmm, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Give me at least 150. Give me 150. Guy's in the corner there. That's a triple. We'll take it. All right, we're going to throw this down. And we can still win off this hill. Maybe not now. But. I don't know if this guy is just trying to protect him or not, but. Like, homie's weird. All right, where's Snoop Dogg at? Gotcha. Advanced UAV is up. Okay, stealth bomber. And I, of course, still died to that somehow. All right, I'm going to quickly try running over here and get some kills. Watch this. Well, we're going to go for the double kill here first. My gun wouldn't shoot. Well, that's 153 now. That is actually insane. Okay. Still not really worried about the score. I dropped right on his head, too. That's kind of funny. We're at 160 kills. 
Let's go. Okay. I that ISO hit now. All right, we're gonna have to call the nuke in pretty soon here, but. Hey, buddy. All right. Well, I feel like there's really no point of me running around for like another seven seconds, but I mean, so far, I mean, this is gameplay of the week. This is gameplay of the week, honestly, still. Holy moly. Did I clutch up 170? No, I didn't, but I mean... This Kazdol 545 is easily top 5. I think it's better than the 762. I don't even think the 762 is top 5. 545 is way better.